Hi, hi. Today uh, we shall be we shall be developing we shall be developing a regression model, and from that model, from that model, we shall remove the problem of heteros. Elasticity, M meaning that, meaning that, it would be homos elastic, which is desirable, desirable, desirable. Okay. So first, uh, we shall be developing a model, and from that model, we shall remove the problem of heteroscedasticity, meaning that the thing would be homoscedastic, which is desirable. And we have here three variable. One is GDP lending rate and exchange rate we have three variables one is GDP then exchange rate then lending rate we have these three variable and GDP is the dependent variable and exchange rate and lending rate are the independent variable Okay, I can show you the variables are here. You can see all variables, three variables, and I can make it zoom. You can see all the three variables are here, right? All the three variables ER, exchange rate, GDP, gross domestic product and lending rate and our sample size is 1 to 1 to 30 and this model is a cross sectional model because the data is from 1 to 30 meaning that when there is a cross sectional data the problem of heteroscedasticity normally arises so uh, so here we also suspect that our model may suffer from heteroscedasticity because the data is a cross sectional not time series okay so i can show you all the data now I am opening all the data as a group. You can see the data, exchange rate, GDP, lending rate. You can see all the data here. And our sample size is 30, right? Our sample size is 30. So this is my data. So, and now uh, we, we we shall be uh, estimating the model so I go to quick then I go to estimate model right estimate model then here I put our equation GDP is the dependent variable then C is the constant then LR is the l l l lending rate and ER is the exchange rate so we have this model setting I can make it zoom for you you can see our three variable GDP is the dependent variable C is the constant then LR and ER and our sample size is 30 and and our, our data is a cross-sectional data 
and now we can run the model right that we have okay I press okay yes it is the result outcome the dependent variable is GDP right and LR and ER these are two variable these are two uh, uh, variable okay LR uh, the, this variable uh, what about the p-value p-value is 92.89 percent meaning that LR is not significant because the probability value is more than 5 percent what about ER ER the probability value is 94.57 percent meaning that ER is not also significant meaning that LR and ER are not significant so so this model is not good because at least 50 percent variable should be significant meaning that out of two at least one should be significant to be a good model but here none is significant and R square is very small so the model is not good R square is very small and F statistics and the corresponding probability is not significant because it is 99.32 percent right meaning that F statistics is not significant so that is not also desirable and finally I check whether the whether the, the whether the whether this model has heteroscedasticity or not so that I check first I go to view then I go to residual diagnostic then I go to test of heteroscedasticity that I check and here are many options here I can make it zoom you can see there are many options bush pegan test, Harvey test, arch test, white test, right? So many tests of heteroscedasticity. Out of all tests, I choose the first one that is bush pegan Gottfried test that I choose. So so that I choose and I press OK so it is the outcome of the Bruce Pagan test right and and we can take observed R square it is the statistics and corresponding probability value right probability value and from here you can see I'm sorry from here you can see what is our null hypothesis our null hypothesis is I'm just writing our null is residuals are not hete heteros kedastic meaning residuals are homos kedastic that is the null hypothesis and what is alternative hypothesis residuals are heteros heteros kedastic right and here null hypothesis is desirable for a model but here you can see the observed R square probability value is 2.28 percent meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis because probability value is less than 
5% meaning that we accept null hypothesis sorry we reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis because probability value is only 2.28% which is less than 5% so meaning that this model uh, has this model has heteroscedasticity so we cannot accept this model okay now how to remove this remove this heteroscedasticity from the model okay that is the question how to remove this heteroscedasticity from the model actually there are many way but one way is logarithm transformation one way is the logarithm transformation meaning that I shall convert all variables into log I shall co convert all variables into log and then I shall estimate the model and that is called logarithm transformation that means I shall convert all variables into log and then I shall run the model again and I hope the heteroscedasticity problem will be removed uh, because there are many way one way is the logarithm transformation okay that uh, I shall be doing now okay I go to quick then I go to estimate model right okay here I put so the way uh, uh, the way I am writing here log GDP then I write C then log uh, lending rate then I write log exchange rate so that is the way uh, I can make it zoom for you the command here I put log GDP and log LR and log ER so here our software will automatically convert the variable into log and then she will estimate the model using log variable so we can call it logarithm transformation and so so we can estimate this model now so I press OK so the result uh, has come you see the GDP has been converted to log GDP and LR uh, 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 LR has been converted to log L LR and ER has been converted to log ER okay and here you can see log LR is not significant because the probability value is 86.83 percent and log ER is not also significant it is 64.15 percent R squared is also very small and F statistics and corresponding P value probability value is not significant meaning that after after the after the variables 
convert into log our result has not improved our result has not improved after after variable converting into log but we can check what about our heteroscedasticity is it still there or not I go to view then residual diagnostic test of heteroscedasticity then I choose uh, Bruce Pregan Godfrey actually the same test same test I tried last time I can make it zoom for you you see the same test right Bush began got free test I am taking it then I press ok ok it is the Bruce began got free test and last time I took observed R square this is observed R square statistics corresponding probability value ok now the probability value is 5.93% 5.93% which is more than 5% meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals meaning that uh, meaning that we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals are not homos uh, are not heteroscedastic meaning residuals are homoscedastic and that is desirable meaning that after co converting the variable into log the problem of heteroscedasticity has been removed complete completely now the our model is free from heteroscedasticity so we are happy about this model